If you beat the shoulder that I need I want to go So take me to Neverland recognize this if you click the video you probably do recognize this so let's just briefly go through what the not like the little color mods you've done to it like the big mods and changes you've done to this car yeah i.e the massive fucking wing on the back of the car for yeah. downforce oh yeah for downforce this is a real wheel drive conversion by the way yeah. uh, so <laughs> yeah so big wing that's just pretty much one thing i thought of like one morning i was like Oh, I'll just get one of them because no one else has done it before and I want to be unique and that, that's like the whole point behind this car is sort of it being well one of one sort of no one else has done it before or yeah. from now they can look at this car and go wow or like they can get ideas from it and things like that that's yeah, yeah. It's, gene it's unique to yeah you. very much so yeah get it right get it right yeah uh, so yeah I've got the wing and the custom mounts on it they're pretty mad uh, retrofitted, shout out to them for doing that. Done a really good job, smashed out in five days. Yeah, it looks the nuts, the wing. I was looking at it, I think I got some close up shots on the way over. I was looking at it, I was like, this actually looks so sick. Yeah. And uh, obviously, the recent mod being the custom rear arches, which were pretty hard to do because I, I wanted to have like, my own take on a rocket bunny yeah. rear end, which is like sort of the idea Top behind bunny. it. But, yeah, Tom Bunny, yeah. So, yeah. Playboy Tom Bunny. But, uh, yeah, so I've sort of done my own little thing in it where you can't see the rivets, so it's what I speak, did everything. So, it's a Rocket Bunny, my take on it, but it follows the smoothness, like, like follows it around the car. So, yeah, yeah it doesn't look like it shouldn't be there. It yeah, looks exactly. like it was molded to the car when it came out of the factory. Yeah, exactly. So, that's the sort of look I've gone for. It's like almost a yeah, subtle. It's not like there's studs here and this is where it's been stuck on. Yeah, exactly. It's like this is part of the panel. Yeah, exactly, mate. Exactly that. It does um, look map. Like it is so thick. I said it looks like the car from Tokyo Drift, the green one with the fist in it. I think it's green. And a big fist in it. I was like, that's what it looked like. It reminded me straight of it. I don't know why. <laughs> that was an insult compliment. I'll take as it is. I'll look. take as it is, mate. I, I, I think that's a compliment. I mean that's a very unique car. I don't see many cars yeah. with fists in. Yeah, I don't see many cars with thick yeah, boobies like this with a fat wing. Yeah. Fat wang on the back. Yeah mate. But uh yeah, so then we got the wheels there. Pretty unique. There's only two sets of these wheels in the UK in Ford fitment or in the Ford Bono 8 fitment. Um, so this is the only Mark 6 in the UK with these wheels, uh, which I've specced like, to my own sort of width and with the studs and the colour and everything like that. Yeah, so yeah. I just pretty much said I want double figures on the back, I don't care if they fit or not, and I've got a lot of hate for it not fitting properly. I'll try my best, so like most of you will know this car having fucking mad rear cam. I think I had I worked it out early before I come see it, I had like 34 washers in total. Wow. Um Yeah, so beat, on, beat on that the, one Jake. On the video with Jake he did explain the washer method. So yes. yeah, that is Jake can suck ass because the washer <laughs> measure has just been beaten. <laughs> 
<laughs> I want to see you beat the PB. Yeah, the PB at 34 on a Fiesta. That, yeah, that's ridiculous. Yeah, I think it was 17 on each side. That's uh, quite good, man. Just, and I like that where everyone usually goes for like little things. Like everyone goes for like a black accent. So the guy like up a black mirror covers, black grill, black vents, black whatever, like trims. Yeah. You went for what colour is it? That's a gloss black with a rainbow spark. So yeah, it's like a black that's been bejazzled. Pretty much, mate. Yeah. It looks pretty mad. It's like, like when a certain like pings it, it just everywhere yeah. like explodes in different colours. Yeah. So when but if you stand far back and it's dark, it just looks black. But then when they ping a light on it, it's like blows up in your face. Yeah. It literally looks so sick. It's probably like unique colour. Yeah. So the wheels obviously that colour matches the side trips, everything like that. So. Yeah, everything sort of complements the next part to yeah, the car. Yeah, pretty much, mate. So it all follows around nicely, almost. And then sense. you've got like the these like Mark II RS seats as well. Yeah, the CS Recaros, which I recently, that was a recent purchase, and all like the Alcantara interior and that's a recent purchase. But yeah. get these seats retrimmed eventually to match what I had before, which was the, like, uh, it lot, well, they called it Fiesta Green. The, the material was Fiesta Green, which is a bit weird. Uh, with the bendy stitch, so I'll get these to match what I originally had. Yeah, before I got these. It's definitely a very unique car, I'll give you that. Yeah, I've tried to be one, not a one of one sort of thing, do things one. that no one else has done before to yeah. a car that no one would really do it. Like with the wing and that, going back to that, most people look at like when I first got it done, they look at you like, why, why did you do that with a front wheel drive car? Yeah, and that's the thing I get most. Why would you put that with a front wheel drive car? Why would you? Yeah, but that's like, why did you go for hydros instead of backs? Yeah. Because not many people do that at all. And I think hydros are now amazing. So I've seen like, <laughs> Miley Cyrus, he's like twerking as this car. It was insane, it blew my mind. <laughs> Yeah, so it's like GTA. <laughs> you get the low riders, you get like the flames on it in San Andreas, and you get the hydro just bouncing up and down everywhere, doing bunny hops. Yeah, it's quite. A, I'd say it's a harder ride. Hydro is a lot more bouncy than the bags. I'd say the ride is a lot worse than bags. Like from cars that I've been in and that, like mates' cars and that. Bag. I'd say yeah. this is, as you can tell, quite bouncy. Well, yeah. But performance-wise, even though this isn't exactly very performance. No. Towards car, it that has a performance aspect to the car. Yeah, so I'd say yeah, this hand like, like go kart. You know, like I was saying to you earlier, yeah. the bloke who fit in it used to fit him on the British touring cars and that. Um, so it does hand really well, even with the stupidly sort of stretched oh, right. tyres and that. But this car definitely gets some looks. Like a minute ago, he went in McDonald's. As soon as he walked away, someone walked past and was like, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Whether it's a good look or a bad look, it's a look. No such thing as bad publicity. That is a true yeah. fact, kids. And like, I get that with my car. People give me dirty looks because it looks like I've just put a load of random stickers over a car. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, but other people love it. It's a love hate. It's like Marmite. Yeah, you exactly. want a bit of Marmite in your life. Yeah, that's it. it builds character. So this is this is a shout out to Ben Cork because I know he'll be watching this because he watches all my videos. Him and Jamie in the living room sending pictures. I feel like not many people do Marxists that I like. Like don't get me wrong, I still appreciate and like the look of them, but no one has gone all out balls deep on them. Like this one is like I'd say is my favourite stance. Is that a nice yeah, word say, to say? Yeah, I'd say. say I don't assume genders with the stance word. Nah, stance, this is what it is, like, it's a, it's a show. Yeah, pretty much, build it. I wanted to build a show car, that was like, what I wanted to do. When my fucking parents said, you spent about £100 on this now, you need to stop spending money on it. I was like, Mum, I want to build a show car, this is my dream. <laughs> Let me and, come uh, too. Yeah. You see, I'd say, like, you've got the best, like, show car, and then Ben just blew my mind with his Mark Six because He's got like the show and still performs aspect, like he's still gone for performance, but he's like gone in depth detail like you, like every little bit, yeah. he's tweaked, he's painted. Yeah. Like fair enough, his is more of a clean up performance style yeah, look. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. He does, like he hasn't gone for all camera stuff, he's just made made it look a clean, nice sort of restored yeah. look. Yeah, exactly. And it's two like opposite spectrums of the show level, I guess you could say. Yeah. But they're both I still have both the same appreciation because I think yeah. they're both sick builds that 
not many people can pull off or has the balls to go out and do something like that. Like Jake's car, like going through the comments of Jake's video, we kept texting each other, it was like 50% shit and I hate, you fucking ruined it. The other like, I like that he done took something and made it what no one else thought they could do. Yeah. And that's where I think the appreciation comes in because if no one else done it and everyone just fuck, have like boring exactly. ass cars. Exactly, man. This is, that's what the scene needs, is people obviously going out of the way to do things differently and how they want to do it no matter what other people think like. Aaron Wills isn't a build. Well, you say that, but you wouldn't have a standard car on back like Bandit Steely or Steely's. <laughs> True. And, and with a nice paint job and smooth bumpers and nice interior and that, that would be the show. So I'd say wheels and air is part of the build, but it's not a finished build. No, it, it still needs, needs everything yeah, else. Yeah, exactly. You can't just finance a rope for them, finance an airlift kit. No. Nah. Like, it is a, it's a show car. Yeah, exactly. You need to, you need to do the look bits. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As well. You need to go into the look details still. For being, like, again, that word unique, I think that's important. Doing covering bits that you know no one's done and things like that. So, yeah. with interior, covering something else that someone's else has like, not gone to that extent to do, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you, if you're fucking gear not. Yeah. Who doesn't like them. a gear? But yeah, it's like little things like that, like, whether it be like, like you've got like, footwell lighting to, like, I've never seen people do like the Alcatraz, not many people have been in, have got like the Alcatraz trim inside up here. Yeah. Like, it's just loads of little things that just make it completely different. Yeah. Instead of just having like, a, you can have a sick car outside, but when you're in it and yeah, driving it, you want to still feel like it's a sick car, not a standard car inside. Yeah, exactly. That's, that, and that's where I thought I was going a bit too far on the exterior, because I hadn't really touched the interior much. Like, I'd just done the seats and the steering wheel pretty much. Yeah. So, with this new purchase of the seats and the, um, like, Avatar interior bits and that, I'm getting somewhere now of the interior, so it's almost like a full build sort of thing. Yeah, it come, it's coming together complete. Yeah. But let's be honest, when you build a car, it is never complete. There's no. always that other one thing you want. There's always yeah. that one more thing you want to upgrade or change, swap a part for a better part. Like my exhaust. Yeah. I've been through three of them now, two in the coolers, um, I just four sets of wheels, two different sets of suspensions. Uh, I just changed my mind and want to tweak it and make it better. Yeah. And then that's when the big part of the deck comes in. <laughs> Your bank account is screaming, stop buying that's shit. It, yeah. <laughs> and that, I can't well, stop. Yeah, exactly. Mate. If you love building cars or modifying cars and that's what you love doing as a hobby, then I'd say to anyone, like, if that's what you want to do, just do it. Yeah, exactly. Better than being a full on sesh gremlin. You've got to make time for the sesh and the car. Yeah, exactly. Split it. Yeah. Okay, so we're probably going to wrap up the video here because we're losing the sunlight and we've already filmed too much. We didn't realize how much we filmed. <laughs> That being said, um, what's, what social medias do you want to plug? Just Instagram. What's that, sorry? What social medias do you want to plug? Yeah, just Instagram, mate, that's all I got. Boring, Instagram, I, I took a video of the sticker, I'll have it on the screen, and it'll be the first link in the description if you want to check out the bill, watch the progress, and if you see it at any shows, whatever, I'd like to see it, tag it, you already know. Yeah. So, smash like on this video, um, comment what you think in these videos, like the other similar videos, this would have been Jake's car, which was like a crazy car as well. I'm, I'm liking filming cars that aren't your everyday daily driver you see, that aren't just a fast car, that actually have some crazy aesthetics to it as well. So if you have one of them cars, drop me a DM on Instagram, B17 Wild, you'll find a way of getting in contact with me. Send me some pictures and hopefully we can sort one out for you as well. Uh, comment what you think of the video and smash the subscribe button down below.